Jim and I, good morning, how are you? Uh, so for your channel messages, I keep hearing that you're either interested in me or you're not. You could be dealing with a Pisces or it's involving a Pisces somewhere or some sort of evolution, or the name Eve, Steve, uh, DV, EV, or EV. Um, but so I keep hearing Steve, Stevie, Stevie Wonder, something to do with about blind, leading the blind, some uh, Libra could be involved here somewhere. Uh, it's also very early in the morning. How you doing, uh, Gemini? Um, yeah, but I keep hearing that you're either interested in me or you're going to give me some kind of sign or not. Like, what sign is it that I'm looking for? So unless you're travelling, unless it's to do with a set, uh, number seven, life path seven, or a Cancerian, it's kind of like, well, I'm look, just looking for a sign, that's all. So unless you're out driving, looking for guidance, you could be people out there looking for spiritual guidance. It's like, I'm looking to be guided towards a sign. All I need is one sign and I'm in. So... Uh, what is this? I'm just waiting for one piece of information or, or at least for you to give me some kind of inkling the fact that there's some kind of interest and if there is then I'm kind of in but I'm picking up on a paradox huge paradox energy here Gemini and uh, I keep picking up like there's when I say paradox I mean a lot of people the same kind of numerology placements or numberings of people and uh, I'm definitely picking up on like maybe a third party energy and it's kind of like look you're either going to show me interest or you're not you're either interested in me or you're interested in a Piscean because that would be a not and it's kind of like look I'm caught right up between a rock and a hard place and you're either going to show me some kind of interest or not and if you're not then is that because you're focused on someone else and that might be a Piscean involved um, but I definitely keep hearing, look, you're either interested, you're not interested, you're either going to give me some kind of sign or not. It's kind of like I keep trying and I keep trying, but I really do feel that you're more than likely interested in someone else. Because if you wasn't interested in someone else, you would be invested in me. Okay, so I definitely keep picking up I am. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know what this is for, because I am getting very strange signals trying to channel for you is because of that paradox energy and I think it is probably because of that I'm interested in you and you're interested in them and them is interested in you and then you know who's interested in who like I really don't know because I don't feel as if there is any kind of clear signal that someone is showing someone the full amount of attention like okay you <laughs> you individually have got my undivided equivocal attention just focused on one person because I keep picking up on energies that are wandering, and it could be around a Virgo, okay, a Virgo. And um, I keep picking up, like, I keep losing your attention. Like, I've got your attention at one minute, and then the next minute, I've not. Uh, it could be a Pisces. <laughs> I'm like that a lot. I'm kind of like, oh. But, like, a bit like that. Like, someone's like, look, I've got your attention, and then when I've got your attention, I don't follow it up with anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, so someone gives you, like, loads of attention all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, they just stop, and then you're like, hold on a minute, I thought that meant something, <laughs> you know, and I don't know if this is kind of like where you're talking to someone somehow and they, they, they're all over you at one minute and then the next minute they're really not at all and you don't hear from them in a few days or a week or a month and then you're kind of like, hold on a minute, this just started to happen really fast and I'm start, starting to now like where my ears are pricking up and you're like, man, it's either my prick or my ears that are pricking up but either way, I've kind of like, now you've got my attention, now you've got my focus and now you've got my focus, it's kind of like now you're drawing my focus elsewhere. And I think it's because somebody probably shows you a good sign or amount of interest. And then all of a sudden they pull away and they back off. And then you're like, hold on a minute. I thought this was kind of going somewhere. And now you're kind of showing signs of really not being that interested. And now you kind of are and then you're not. Do you know what I mean? And I don't know if this is to do with A7, a life path or a car, a Cancerian. But kind of, um, so don't worry about numerology. If you guys haven't seen this channel before, you're really going to have to catch up with how I read within numerology because you'll, you'll have to know about what I call is the John Malkovich effect. Okay, So John, Julian, Jason, Jackie, Jasmine, uh, Jason. Okay, But a lot of this, like, it's, it's a very strange, weird energy in my head. It's kind of like I know what it is and I'm trying to get it out to you and explain my vision and what my spirit is telling me. Um, so let's start back from the beginning. It's kind of like manifesting someone and it's kind of like I'm not quite got it down to a T yet. And it's kind of like suddenly someone starts to show me loads of interest and then all of a sudden they just stop and they don't. And then it's kind of like, well, I thought I was in there. And then it's kind of like, yeah, well, you was, but now you're kind of not. <laughs> and 
And it's like, oh, so does that mean that you've got someone else then? I mean, like I said, it, this could be single folk up in here, like a lot of single energies that are kind of, you know, because I'm definitely picking up like a seven of cups, if I'm honest, in my visionary head, Gemini. Okay. And um, I definitely keep hearing like this, one minute you're showing me attention, then the next minute you're not. One minute you're talking to me, then the next minute you're not talking to me. And it's a bit like this, does she love me or does he love me? Does he love me not? Does he love me? Does he love me not? Does he love me? Does he love me not? Does he love me? There's a huge knot here, <laughs> right? And I, my way of reading is I'm afraid not. Now that's a Pisces to me, okay? So, because it would be hanging on a tree. So it's kind of like this, I'm afraid so, I'm afraid not. I really don't know, like I'm unsure. Or like the Pisces is kind of like, well, I'm unsure, I don't really know, unless my name is Gary or Tina. But it's kind of like some people flirting, if you like. They're flirting with, I don't know, I mean, it could be possibility that people are starting to fear the fact that, uh, it could be involving a Leo, a Leo, or an Aquarius as well, okay, which would also be that John Malkovich 8 there. So if you're a... Gemini, you can obviously watch this as a life path six or a possible Capricorn there for six. Um, but like, uh, it's kind of like fear starts to creep in because suddenly start, someone starts to be very creepy. <laughs> or like um, Tom York. But because um, I'm a creep and I'm a weirdo. And if I'm a weirdo, then you're creeping in, but then you're creeping out at night. So I don't know if there's someone that you're trying to avoid and you, you this might be around the house and the home because I'm now picking up the tower. Man, I'm picking up on like huge energies of seven, <laughs> but like huge energies of seven, right? Life path or cancerian. And it's like I creep in and then I creep out and then I creep in and it's kind of like, a bit like Jim, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jasmine, Jackie, but like Jim Carrey, like, like, like or someone's like worried the fact that the floorboards are squeaking and they're trying not to wake someone up or they come in very late at night and they're trying to avoid people around the house and the home and they're avoid being seen because I definitely keep hearing like a door opening of like here's Julian Jason Justin Jackie Jasmine and like right like only me and it's like oh fuck there, there is kind of like, you, you know, open the door and then Doris comes running in. Oh, you're back then. You're like, oh, Jesus Christ, man. I was trying to be quiet to actually not inform you that I was here. And then all of a sudden, the moment I open up the door, do you give up everything that you're doing in order to get... It's a bit like an over-obsessed mother, perhaps, <laughs> right? Of like, every time you go out of a door, do they suddenly then appear and you're like, Jesus Christ, man, I didn't manifest you into my life. It's kind of like, I was actually trying to be quiet to step around you, not like get your attention. So that could be something to do with around be, being uncomfortable at home or some of you like uncomfortably numb, which would be a mum and you are mothers. And this is where, I don't know, your children probably try to be an R White's lemonade drinker and they try to go to the fridge at night and suddenly there you are, <laughs> right? Or it's the other way around. You try to get a break from the children and the moment that you open up the door, they soon realize that you're, you're up. Some of you are dealing with like what I do, DAW, which would be uh, Ableton Music, blah, blah, blah. Uh, man, if you are on my Facebook, you'd know. <laughs> well, like, uh... <coughs> I've been doing a lot of um, <coughs> live NPC music things at the moment. But I definitely keep hearing the moment that I open up the door, I try to like get into the kitchen or I try to get out or something like that. And the moment I do and I open it up or I get a bit of free time and I try to open up my music thing, is there something else that's going on and it's distracting me away from it? So like I said, these would be people that are living in houses with a lot of people around and the moment that you get a moment's peace to yourself, someone comes crashing through the door and you're kind of like, fucking hell, man. I was just getting into like tipping it on TV. And then all of a sudden, someone comes knocking at the door and you're like, oh my God, like I'm fucking, I just can't get a moment's peace. So they're general messages there for you, gems. Um, so let's go back to this very confusing channeled message that I'm getting for you, which is kind of like this John Malkovich kind of situation that's got there's more holes in it than than possibly known to man like you give me a certain amount of attention and then the reason why you may not be giving me your full divided attention is the fact that you might be focused on something 
or someone else. Now that thing could be a Stephen, uh, Stephen King. It could be a lion. It could be a Leo. Okay, involved somehow. But like one moment you've got my attention, and then you have, and then you're not. And if you aren't, then is that because you're seeing someone else? Is that because you're single and you're playing the field? Or is that because you're playing with your music? Or is that because you're playing with yourself? Who knows? But like, well, I might as well. <laughs> so um, I definitely keep hearing this playing and teasing kind of energy. Like, oh no, I'm just playing, but I'm teasing you as well. But I'm also playing. So someone's either playing with themselves because someone keeps teasing them. And then because they're teasing them, Man, what in earth is this that's going on in your energy, Gemini? I, it's, it's typical Gemini behaviour, or it's typical what happens with a Gemini. Kind of like that. I mean, trust me, I've got a Gemini moon, bro. My head would be fucked with all of this. Like, hold on a minute. Like, when, like I, I, I don't know some picking up, picking up someone that's got wandering eyes, and they're like, well, I'm wondering about you, a fish called Wanda. Someone's wondering about a fish, which is a Piscean. And it's like, well, I'm wondering about you, Okay, and I keep wandering, and I keep thinking, and I keep thinking, and I keep thinking, and I'm... Someone could be a life path five, could be a Sagittarian or a Taurus placement involved somewhere. And it's kind of like, each time I keep thinking of you, you keep thinking about someone else. Or each time I think of you, man, I reckon it's probably because there's too much fucking thinking and probably not enough communicating, if I'm honest. Like... I don't know. I mean, what I'm thinking about at the moment is getting my fat ass up off this table and going to the gym in about... 25 to 30 minutes well pretty much when i finish with this it's very early in the morning i have joined the gym um <laughs> jim julian jason justin jackie jasmine but uh, i have joined the gym and i'm getting my fat ass up and i'm going to go do something about it i a picture came up on my facebook um well no i found one in my phone because i was trying to delete a load of pictures in my phone to make space for the for the um wedding that I went to <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a bit but like I uh, went to the wedding and I had to get rid of a load of photos and stuff off my phone so I could record video and stuff and uh, I came up with this this uh, picture of myself like three years ago just before Covid hit and man I was slim and slender and kind of like pretty much fit and everything else and um, what the fuck happened during Covid-19 I have got no idea bro this carcass is absolutely at it bro so I'm getting back to the gym and I'm pumping iron and I'm just about to get my fat ass on that rowing machine that's what I'm doing bruv I ain't messing around I went out yesterday and bought myself a very expensive fucking gym membership and uh, I'm going to make sure that I go and funnily enough the person that I go up there and I know really well that, that runs the uh, gym is called John <laughs> Jim John um, but like uh, I, I keep hearing something about a slim gym or something or trying to get slim slender uh, they're in Brenda, Brenda, right there, Brenda. But like, um, yeah, I'm trying to get slim and slender, and I'm trying to work out and do my best and what I can to work with what I've got. So if you don't like what I've got, baby, then don't. So it's kind of like that. Like, well, I know what I've got about me. So again, this is this is that um, weird science that came up for another reading, and I think it was Aries slash Scorpio. Okay, so if you haven't followed the channel, you're going to find these messages really weird. Aries 4, Scorpio as well, okay, and it came up in their reading, and it was someone that was trying to form a perfect model of a picture of a person that they want in their life. Now, if you're interested in someone, they're kind of showing slight interest in you because there's certain amounts of things that they like about you, but they probably just don't like everything. This is where I'm absolutely fucked in life, Gemini. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. When it comes to like prosthetics and looks and shit like that, man, I'm quite overweight as well. So I have a lot of work to do. But like, you know, it, when it comes up to that, when it comes on paper, money, work, car, fucking like really nice car, great job, great money, fucking fantastic house, loads of abilities about seprophilia of emotion intelligence and I can emotionally like attract people in through being emotionally intelligent and caring and nurturing and everything else but when it comes to this bit bruv I need weird science all fucking day long bruv so it's kind of like that somebody is kind of like picking maybe people apart I mean I don't know Pisces do that a lot as well it's kind of like where you're just I don't know you're trying to like Either someone keeps picking themselves apart, well, which is what I also have to stop doing, but like uh, picking themselves apart, or someone is interested in a person, but they're kind of thinking, well, you've kind of got a load of good things about you, but there's this other stuff maybe that I, I don't know. Someone could be very choosy or picky. I don't know. 
I don't know what this is that's stopping. You see, that might be absolute bollocks, I don't know. It could be coming from oneself. But there is some kind of energy here of like, there might be someone that is like interested in you, but everything has to be perfect. Like it has to be ripped and bud and, and like meathead and some basic general dickhead. That says, <laughs> sorry if you are one. But uh, I kind of mean like, you know, I've said this for a very long time. It's the glue that holds a relationship together is basically the person. It's the person that holds the energy together, okay? So metaphysically, you're not gonna have to get off your, like, you know, it has to be realistic, right? It has to be people that are close to you and so on and so forth. It has to be realistic. And there is, there's this energy of like, you know, what holds things together is what a person is prepared to do for someone, okay? And the energy that holds the relationship in the end together is the essence of what is with, is found within a person. Because generally, like I said, you know, you can look at this NPCX here and it's flashing with fucking lights and it's got buttons everywhere on it and it is fucking built to last and it's very expensive and it does everything like it does everything. But it actually does too much <laughs> because it is so hard to learn. Right. So basically you can form like it's just it's too difficult. Right. So when you're looking at a person, the thing that holds that together really is is when you make a choice to to be with a person you learn about a person while doing it and also whilst with them and whilst communicating with them that's where you learn about a person when you're learning about what they really are inside is where love then is formed okay love come out of the fucking ethers okay love can only be learned this is guidance from spirit <laughs> something new that steve's coming out with Love can only really be formed when inside of that, of inside of the person knowing what that person is really like. That's where the bond of love can be found. Love is not before, love is after. The before and the after effect, okay? So before, it's metaphysical, it's desirable, it's energy of like attraction, okay? Inside the relationship is where love, true love, is found. That's the only place you will ever find love is in it, in it, right, in it, bruv. So that's the only way that you ever find what love really is, is by being inside it. Normally, the accumulation of coming up to it is where you get the everything that shines of glitter and gold. It all looks great on the exterior, or it all doesn't look great on the exterior, but you never really know what any kind of interior is until you've had a new model. <laughs> right so it might be a car or something like that okay and it's from rust you might be watching like i do which is um canadian thing which is rust uh rust what do you call it i forget what it is it's a car <laughs> i love car shows but uh they basically take an old scrapped model of rust and they fucking like polish it all up polish its knob and pretty much make it brand new so um yeah, so some of you could be into stock cars or stocks and shares, stock car racing uh, or stocks and shares, money, trying to find some money, trying to find av an, an avenue of like, I don't know, Bitcoin. That isn't my way of doing things, to be quite honest with you. I think that any kind of money really takes hard work. Okay, so if anybody is like, because I keep hearing get rich quick, okay, and I need a get rich quick scheme. So... <laughs> Very risky, um, but anyway, I keep hearing this energy of where it comes to around your love is basically advice is what spirit in also Uncle Steve is telling you, is, is that love can only really be formed when found out what that love really feels like when inside it, because anything above that is lust, okay? It's lust, it's Lucy, it's Lucifer, <laughs> it's, you know, it's kind of like desired energy, and until you physically work hard at that, you will never really know what that is, okay? So like I said, it's like the gym, you're never really gonna know what that's like until you get there and start fucking doing it. If you wanna lose weight, you ain't gonna lose weight sitting on your carcass, you're gonna have to get out and do something. If you want a get rich quick scheme and you're just trying to manifest money out of fucking thin air but you don't have a job to back it up, you're living in a fucking dream, okay? Honestly. Like things like, you know, manifesting and stuff like that can work. Me, it's, um, you, you, you can't beat passive income. Passive income is great. 
you know, passive income is brilliant because you've got loads of avenues of money. So it builds up and accumulates all over the place when you have passive income. But you cannot manifest watching things of passive income if you don't have any fucking income, <laughs> right? Because what you will have is income in. And you'll probably have a tree that comes crashing through your fucking house and then you, like, well, there you go. There's your, like, money that you have to now spend rebuilding it, <laughs> right? So it's a bit like a tower, in a way, okay? So, you know, y'all want passive income, y'all want money, then you're going to have to have great avenues of physically, like I said, if you manifest, make sure that if you're manifesting and you're doing things, whatnot, that you have things set up already. And if that's money that people are trying to manifest, then make sure that you have passive income, chances of passive income, and not just like coming out of thin air, because you'll probably stop believing in it. And, uh, <laughs> right, so I don't know what I'm picking up. Some of you could be into like what I like, which is Neville Goddard, okay, or uh, kind of energies like that. Um, yeah, but like I said, some of you here, like you're really finding it very difficult to manifest with nothing, like, you know, you can't make shit out of sugar, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, if you're looking for passive income and you're looking for money and you're looking to manifest, make sure that you've got passive income amounts of money that can be accumulated by passive income working, okay? So, you know, like myself, t-shirt range, Patreon, personal readings, this, you, you just, you know, just loads of different avenues of possibilities of money coming in, you know. You've got to have those avenues, because if not, it, you, you know, you, you're going to go fuck yourselves up there. <laughs> well, like, uh, I don't know what that, there's a huge energy of a Piscean here somewhere, okay, caught right in the middle of it. And um, some of you are going to court with one. I mean, that Pisces could be a life path three, okay. But like I seem to be caught right up in the middle of all of this and uh, I don't know. I really keep picking up like it's like a someone shows signs of interest and then all of a sudden they don't show you signs of interest. And then you're kind of like, well, if you're really not showing me that much interest and you're really kind of not that bothered, then is it because of me? Or is it physically because of the way I look? Or is it physically because you're interested in someone else? Or is that because you're not interested at all? And it's kind of like these two soulmates or someone or a connection that's trying to be built, but somebody has to get over something themselves, which is either get over themselves and come to the realization that they actually do like this person, or they have to just step their ego aside and kind of probably come down a notch or two, maybe. I don't know. But like, um, I don't know what this is, unless it's just fear, unless it's just absolute equivocal fear that sets in with someone they're like, no, nah, that's not possible. And it's like, well, no, it is possible. And they're like, no, nah, that's not possible. Now, do they like me or not? That's not possible. Would they like me? Do they not like me? Would they? I don't know. Why don't they? No, nah, that's not possible. Well, uh, <laughs> you know, those kind of confusing signals, I feel. I, I really don't know. I don't know if that's coming from you or the other person or both of you. I, I really don't know. Uh, pff, I mean, obviously, if there's a third party energy here and someone's very flaky and they're on someone else, that is what is messing up this connection. This is the fact that they're focused on another person. Okay, that is what fucks up the energy up. Is that someone will not move away from their ex or someone will not move away from their karmic energy and they live up in cuckoo land and just like, no, I'm just going to focus on the person that I'm not speaking to, can't have, don't, you know, haven't done in a long time and I'm just holding out on a whim. <laughs> you know, the, the fact that my ex is going to be with me at some point and I'm just going to pass all of these opportunities up and say no. Fuck that, bruv. Get yourself all these opportunities that they come up. Right. Excuse me. Like I said, it is early in the morning, Gemini. Um, but yeah, someone could be passing up a load of opportunities because they're just holding out for a hero zero pi person. Pisces? I don't know. But like holding out for a person that's uncommittal or holding out for a person that is not holding out for them. Do you know what I'm saying? So, or them, M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Matilda, Mel... Uh, I don't know what on earth this is going for. Some kind of strange energy. Okay. So the only way we can get through this, Gemini, is by going through it. Right. So the only way you're going to do it is by going through it. And that might be the healing process. Oh, dear. Some of you really are going through the healing process. Okay. So healing processes are, if you've got exes and stuff like that, because this can be where I'm in denial. Okay. Like third party energy. Like I'm in denial and I haven't recovered from my ex yet. And I have someone else that's interested in me. Okay, 
and I am pretty much like every opportunity that just comes my way, they just end up being like very no, 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 yes, no, very energies that come towards you can be very flaky. Now that can be because they're not like healed from their past or you're not. I am, <laughs> right? But like, uh, <clears throat> you know, some people in life, they may not be healed from their past. And like I said, they, they concentrate on all of their past energies, all the reflections of control, narcissism, like fucking confusion. Now I'm really confused. Now I really don't know because I kind of want my ex back, but I don't know how they feel. And because of all of that now, I, I, I don't know what all these options that are coming up for me, how they feel either. And like I said, it, you know, it depends. The only way you ever really know if you're healed, and this is the God's honest truth, if, if you're a Gemini that is really not thinking of your ex, if you're not thinking of your ex at all, whatsoever, and you're just kind of like, no, I'm just really not, they, they don't enter my head at all, I'm just concentrating on the future. If you're on that aspect, you're cushy. But if you're constantly got in your head, no, my ex, my, my ex, I, I, I don't know, like, I, I just, I, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know, like, they're going to come back, you know, if I move forward and I start meeting someone else from my past, then realise that I'm, you know, moving on and blah, 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 and, you know, I, I can't do that because I don't want them to think that I'm with someone else and, you know, all of that kind of stuff, and it goes through someone's head, you're going to fuck yourselves up mentally, physically and emotionally there because you'll be stuck with a with a <laughs> well with a fucking large pole up your ass being prodded but like uh, you know if if it if it's ever in your head gemini like no i don't know if i can move away from this person because i have to wait for them to show me interest and that i you know i can't like show a new person interest because i'm constantly focused on my ex all of the time and blah 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 and if i end up coming up as taken with another person that means that my ex is never going to be wanting me then because they'll realize that I'm with someone else and and I don't want to do that just in case they end up like wanting reconciliation at some point so I refuse to move on because I still live in that a certain amount of hope that my ex might want to get back with me if that's in your head or your ex is in your head at all you're just gonna it's more of a um Malcolm, really? It's more of a Malcolm, to be honest. X people. X marks the spot, okay? Capricorn energies, toxicity, okay? So anyway, who gives a fuck? Let's have, <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, great, and notifications come up on there now. Uh, just got to make sure it's still recording, yeah. So here we go, Gemini. The unadulted, equivocable Geminis. <coughs> let's have a look. Uh, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini? Show me Gemini's energy, please. Show me Gemini's energy for this week. So there you go, my knight in shining armor. So you are talking with someone. You should be talking with somebody here. So there is a common interest that is pretty much given to a person. It's like, well, listen, bruv, <laughs> baby, I've got this cup right here. i got your pistol right here. So <laughs> someone's like, well, I've got a pistol. Oh, yeah, got a pistol. Hmm, I don't know what that's for. Someone's got a pistol. <laughs> um, piston, I keep hearing a piston. Something to do with a Cancerian, maybe, or a Life Path 7. Piston. Um, some of you might be having your car fixed or something, or you do things around pistons and God knows what else, and ratchets. Or ratchet, racket, racket, racket. Some of you are making a right racket. Probably me going over all of this shit with this music. Or your kid is making loads of racket. <laughs> but, um,. Or racketeer, I keep hearing a racket. Well, a racket is like a group and an organisation, isn't it? A racket? I don't know. Unless you're from Iraq, okay, or unless someone's got a really nice pair of racks. Uh, yeah, this person's got a nice pair of racks. Well, to be honest, I've got a pair of racks and I'm a guy and I need to get rid of my rack, to be honest. Unless you have got a rack, which means like a rack like I have of guitars and like... Uh, like stacking things with where you can put things on a rack and then on another rack and on another rack and you've got like modular systems and stuff like that and you're looking to buy like a wooden piece to put synthesizers on and stuff or the name Cynthia, Steve, Sarah, all the S's. Okay, um, anyway, so getting back to the Knight of Cups, you really should be talking to a person because this is charming. This person's a charming man, right? Wants the charmer. Charming man. Because I'm also hearing pebbles on the beach. Round step I feed. Oh, left alone. Trying to get home. Someone's trying to get home. They're trying to get home. 
I'm trying to get home. Wherever I lay my head, that's my home. Okay, stop with all the crap, Steve, because this is where you start losing people's focus. Let's just get on with it. So Gemini, Sun Rising Venus, Jupiter, the North Node, show me Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Ooh, what the fuck, bruv? Why is that? <laughs> a charming man that's got like that. Nah. <laughs> Why is this is a Mick Bloody Wilson or whatever they call, used to call it? It's over before it began. It didn't even begin, it just fucking ended. <laughs> so it's like this is a Jim Morrison moment all over. This is the end, beautiful friend. Some of you have got a friend and you don't know if it's a friend or a lover or you or this new person is kind of treating you like a friend. Oh, fuck if I know. A friend in need's a friend indeed. A friend with weed is better. A friend with breasts and all the rests. And now she's dressed in leather. Someone likes to dress in leather. I mean, like I said, it's, is it someone that likes to dress up and perform to get people to look at them or what? I don't know. Someone that's dressed in leather. Or the name Heather. Heather, 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 Heather. Somebody's just kind of like teetering on the precipice of not doing shit. <laughs> like, no, no, it's, no, it's not going to work. No, no, it's not going to work. It's, it, it just, it's not. It, it won't. It's no. Okay, back to the drawing board. Let's just carry on and see what happens. I mean, it's an equivocal ending with the past. But like I said, someone could be connected with this that's not finished with the past yet. And they keep thinking that there may be reconciliation with the past. Like I said, you could be connected with this energy. And that's why they're coming up as very, like, uncommittal. Because they're focused that much on endings in life that nothing can ever really start for them. It's because all they focus on is loss all of the time. Of Like, no, I'm just going to think about my ex all of the time. And, like, you know, I'm just constantly hooked on my ex. And things are never really going to work out with my ex. And then things are really not going to start with a new person because I haven't moved on. I mean, it is good for you guys that have finished with your ex because you're moving on to a new beginning. But there is somebody here that is focused on their ex. And if my channeled spirit is right, which I fucking believe, <laughs> right, then um, someone doesn't believe in the hype. Okay, so... I'm also hearing hyperactive thyroid or something my thyroids are good to be honest but i'm hearing hyperactive thyroid gland or something or oh, glen someone from scotland or from the glen okay or they're called glen um glennis gladys or so then gladys or gladys um anyway someone is like i said somebody here is they've got somebody they have got somebody in mind and it is there but somebody, as a John Malkovich moment, is connected with their ex, and that's what they're holding out for, is the ending. That's what they're thinking about all of the time. So, like I said, if you're con if you're connecting with someone and they're not committing to you, there is a possibility there. The fact that all they keep thinking about is the possibility of reconciliation with their ex constantly all the time. I'm not saying that that's an equivocal yes, <laughs> but to me, it kind of shows me that someone just thinks about their ex all of the time, okay? And maybe why they're not committing to anybody. So let's see, Gemini, Sun Rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Pisces, there you go, there's the three. So it could be a life path three, it could be a Piscean, it could be their mum or your mum, okay? Or you could be a mother and you have this in your chart somewhere. Or your dynamic duo number comes up to three. Life path, life path, add them together. What number does that make? They're in this reading. Okay. So you've kind of got this where, I don't know. It's like a never ending story, right? It's just ongoing. <clears throat> now, if it isn't and you are focused on nobody but yourself and you're putting yourself first and you do have a common interest with a person, they're intrigued. They're intrigued because they're focused on this energy of a Piscean, okay? But they're focused on this. But like I said to you, some of you, there's a John Malkovich moment that one of these people is focused on the uh, Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal, right up in here. The piece of cream on the side, the uh, mistress or the mister, doesn't matter. 
or misty, right? But they're focused on the other person, the three energy. Three is the magic number of attraction, okay? That's why I'm equivocably fucked in every single scenario that comes up in my life, because I'm a Pisces. Because this is me, sweetie, <laughs> right? Because I'm a three. So being the energy of light worker or fucking, I don't know, psychic medium as a calling, as a gift, I'm here to teach and learn other people. Go away, notifications. <laughs> but like, um, you see, it's just, it's, <laughs> sorry, that distracted me. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what it was. It was just a, a notification of some sort. But it, it's, it's just a, it's, it's part of my calling where I am given and born in order to be able to learn and also teach, right? Because it's a certain calling. So I think that majority of us and nearly all of us that are blessed with certain gifts of spirituality and whatnot, we're always on this frayed so, frayed not, frayed so, frayed not, frayed so, frayed not. So, I mean, I don't know what the fuck is at the end of a rainbow because I've never really met the perfect rainbow, to be quite honest with you. I've really met more of a like a... A bungle, Zippy, George and Rod, Jane and Freddie. Oh dear, bungle. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But uh, who knows what the future brings. You just have to go through it. That's your karma there. But like I said, someone really is still focused on this Meg Ryan person, probably. But I definitely keep hearing Ryan, the name Ryan. Okay. Or a lion, something to do with around a Leo. Okay. So let's have a look at the other person. Let's have a look at that other person, connective of Gemini. Oh my, oh my God, George. Oh, Jesus Christ, man, really? Three and five of cups and the king of swords. Well, this king really isn't that bothered. That's what I'm saying. This king really isn't that bothered. It's not normally a king of swords that is really that fussed about people. <laughs> but like, you know... <clears throat> it's kind of like, well, you can't bend my will. Some of you really have got to go to court and you're fighting over wills, court, money, the name William. You keep going to like, keep going to court, keep going back to the same energy over and over again, or someone does and they keep going back and forwards and blah, it's like a fucking polar opposite. It could be your polar, could be bipolar, but bipolar energy, spiritual stuff, don't worry about it. You're more than likely not bipolar. You're just connected with someone of north and south, okay? Five energies, you've probably got Sagittarius Taurus energy here. Uh, man, like I said, some of you, I mean, like I said, if you're not concentrated on your ex and you're like, no, I'm concentrating on the future, it's kind of like the, all the people that you're coming up against, even though you're not thinking of your past, your past is thinking of you. <laughs> and like, and then you're thinking of the future and really nobody and may have someone in mind, but that person that you're focused on keeps focusing on their fucking ex and you're just, <laughs> you're just kind of like myself, just go around and around in fucking circles like a teddy bear. But, you know, this is a general reading. It doesn't have to be in your personal one. You'd, have to, you'd need a personal reading. But as it stands at the moment, what I'm picking up on you, for you, is the majority of you that are focused on just basically someone new that someone new is probably focused on someone old. <laughs> and then you're not really thinking of anyone as your ex thinks of you. And you're kind of like, ah, fuck it, bruv. I'm just out, like, you know, just bollocks, <laughs> you know. Just, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I can't tell you about future people, really, to be honest with you. Because, I don't know, a lot of the time, sometimes you can meet future people and they concentrate on their ex, you know, all the time and they just can't never get over their ex all of the time, that you know, and they can't move away, they can't move on and they live in a false sense of security of hope, which is Pandora's box. It's the last amount of energy that ever really creeped out from Pandora's box was that sneaky fucking hope to give us hope that one day we may come out of the pits of hell. <laughs> well, uh, you know, somebody, somebody here, I don't know, somebody is focused on their ex. They're focused on the person they can't be with, you know. And uh, there's also no signs of communication. It's kind of like, ah, fuck it. Let's just sit in the pity pot. Let's just sit here not speaking and saying anything and ignoring and blocking it out and just feel it. Well, there's healing. You have to feel that amount of pain to know what that really is when you're spiritual because that's the way you grow. That's why a lot of people will shy from my channel because they don't like when it hurts. When it truly hurts is when you know that you're healing and it has to fully hurt because you have to fully let go. 
you know. And when you fully come to that realization that this is never going to work and I'm going to have to let go, that's when you start to really heal then from your exes, is when you're fully prepared to realize this really is over, isn't it? it you know, I'm going to have to wake the fuck up and realize that this really is over and it's really not going to end. And even for the people that you that come up in your energy is very flaky. You have to let them go as well. You're kind of like, oh, Brian, just fly away. Everybody just fly away. And just kind of, like, you know, I'll just let you all go back with your exes and see how that get on. And by the time you all go back with your exes, I would have moved on and met someone new. Because when you're in third party drama triangles, spiritually, physically, mentally, none of you end up together, really, to be honest with you. If you go through that much of a metaphysical third party energy of hope and you've been hoping for so long none of you end up with a white picket fence and that's God's honest truth and I've been through it so many times as a three, as a three. I've never put up with cheating, no, 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 no. But um, as a metaphysical energy of, yeah, Nanu, Nanu, I've been in quite a few, right, Mandy? <laughs> but like, um, <clears throat> you know, when you, um, when you end up like in these, none of you end up together really, you all end up nowhere, you know, you end up further ascending, but you basically all just end up with none of you, because your ex doesn't ever come back, okay, and so on and so forth, that's if it's metaphysical, if you go through the break up, get back together, break up, get back together, break up, get back together, at least you're getting some kind of fucking action, but if you're kind of like metaphysically stuck with a person that you know, this is my twin flame and I can't get over them and, you know, I'm spiritually connected with them and I'm, I'm really sitting in the energy of fear and, and hate and blame, and, you know, everything else. And you're metaphysically connected to that person that you haven't been able to move from for quite some time. Y'all just, none of you really end up together because when the cycle goes, when the third energy breaks, you go into another one. This is why I'm destined to fail as a Piscean. Here. My destiny is about failure. <laughs> but well not in all aspects money and fucking education and and fucking being great person i'll fucking thrive at that but relationships man <laughs> it's just uh you know so it's it's that it is that you know the metaphysical third party breaks and none of you end up because by the time you've gone through it that long you don't really want the person in the end anyway because you come to the realization that it's gone on that long that it's kind of like, oh, this is impossible, man. It's impossible to keep fighting karma. So you have to give up. Because if there's no communication, what the fuck? Of course people are going to give up. Because they're not communicating with people. So everybody's going to be like, well, I don't even fucking know. Like, you know, trust me, you can get people on the other end of the earth. They don't even know. Like, they, you know, they've got no idea. Some feminine energies really believe there's a connection. And some don't. They're kind of like, well, some girls do and some girls don't. You know, some girls need a lot of loving, but... Some girls will and some girls won't. And every time I get with the girl I want, they want some motherfucker else. <laughs> and that's the way it goes, boo. All right? So anyway, I'm joking, but that's kind of here. So uh, yeah, if you want to join, it only goes to the full access bundle. Tier one or pro, it gives you a chlamydia or a fucking headache. Uh, that's just your monthlies. It's very cheap. It is like $3, I think. With the tier one, you get the monthlies and then you get the general collective readings that I also put over there, which are very accurate, I feel. Uh, that's like three dollars for a month if you want these and all of the weeklies that come out the bi-weeklies and god knows what else i come out with that'll just get shoved into a burger pretty much like mcdonald's really and you can just have to work your way through it and there's shit loads that you can look at constantly but as it stands this goes to the full access bundle you can find all links provided below for patreon or some video that explains it if you want to watch uh emails for personal readings uh, I don't know, you can even tell me in the comment section, thanks very much Steve, that would be very much appreciated, any like, share, comment, subscription, thanks very much and I'll hopefully see you on Patreon.